Hi, welcome back to the Praxis Test Prep channel. My name is Tasha. I'm a former high school biology teacher. Today, I'm going to walk you through some practice problems for the Praxis exam 5005. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's go over the first question. Which of the following is a definition of life cycle? So A, the developmental stages that occur during an organism's lifetime. B, the process of animal reproduction. This is included in the life cycle. C, the developmental changes that happen during the animal's infancy. This is also included in the life cycle. And then the changes that happen after an animal dies. So I think our keyword is life. So death is not included with this. So since all of these are included in all the developmental stages, we know that our answer is A, the developmental stages that occur during an organism's lifetime. So question two, what do ribosomes do in all living cells? A, they make proteins. B, they export things to the cell membrane. C, they read DNA. So this is done in the nucleus. If you were ever asked about that, that is done in the nucleus where you have DNA being changed over to mRNA then that mRNA leaves the nu nucleus to go to the ribosome. Or D, they store information in the, for the cell. So that is in the nucleus, the DNA. They don't export things. So C, what a ribosome really does is they make the proteins. They take that mRNA and they make the proteins. Okay, question three. What is the term for an error in a feedback system? So let's look at all of these vocab words and kind of define them. So A, alteration that is going to be being changed or being altered, something like that. Alternative is the second one. So that is going to um, basically be you're going to have a different possibilities. So different possibilities. So those two could potentially be the term for the error. Glucagon, um, that's really randomly thrown in there. That's the hormone that the pancreas actually produces um, that actually helps with glucose regulation. Alliteration is also kind of randomly thrown in there. That's the same sounding words um, that you have at the beginning. And homeostasis is going to be any equilibrium that you have in the cell is going to be homeostasis. So let's eliminate the three that we know are not it at all. So let's eliminate homeostasis alliteration, and glucagon. We're left with alternative and alteration. So between those two, alteration is going to be closely the most correct answer for the error. So our last question, what is the difference between a communicable disease and a non-communicable disease? So A, there is no difference between both still result in disease. We know that's not true. There is a difference between the two of them. B, the communicable disease can be passed from person to person and non-communicable cannot. C, both di diseases can be passed from person to person, but communicable disease requires direct contact with bodily fluids. I think that's our clue there, is that they can be passed on the surface and on other ways as well. So we really are left with B and D, which are which one can be passed person to person and which one cannot Communicable diseases can be passed person to person, whether that's on a desk or through the air. So our answer is B. I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, head over to study.com for more videos. As a study.com member, you get access to hundreds of practice problems like the ones I just walked you through, as well as targeted instruction for some topics you might still be struggling with, along with some test-taking strategies to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video was helpful. In the comments down below, please mention if there's any topics you'd like us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying!